Hey, what's up? I don't know what y'all been waiting on, but football season is back. And if you haven't been over to Prize Picks to make your fantasy sports picks, you're tripping. They got 100% deposit match up to $100. That means you put $100 in there, they'll give you $100. J-O-N, if you put $50 in there, they'll give you $50. That's how prize picks is getting down. All you got to do is go over there and pick like two to six players, and you can go against, you know, your more or less. You know, your, you know how it go. It's easy. It's straightforward. I'm telling you, use promo code 85 South. Prize picks, we salute y'all, and we appreciate y'all. For sponsoring this podcast and putting us up on the on the fantasy sports. I didn't know nothing about no fantasy sports when this started. All I knew was how to get on prize picks. I took what I knew and used what I didn't know. And now look at me. I got a promo code. No, nah, but I'm telling you, Jay, when it's easy, you go over there. They usually have all your favorite people over there already. So you go in there and be like, oh, my boy hot tonight. He was talking earlier. Uh, he about to hit him for the 40. Uh, he about to get 22 rebounds. I believe that. So I'm about to believe something on that. You can bet whatever you feel like bet. Well, you can't say bet, but you can you can make picks. You can make picks. Go to prize picks. Use promo code 85 South, and they're gonna match your deposit up to 100 percent up to 100 bucks. That's on me. Play me some uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's time to get yeah. motherfucking focused and get back serious no, about the situation <laughs> that you were unserious <laughs> about. Sure. You know, I know I'm a Atlanta yeah. nigga. You hear me? Uh-huh. 85 South Show. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Hold up. Did you one show? show Man, you been cooking, Amongst guys. black households. There you go. You been cooking, dog. With one parent in there. Ooh, come on. I'm talking about your mama got one house, you high two get. jobs, come on, two cars, three kids. Come on. Hey, hey. This sir right here, come on. Dedicated to everybody that got a tattoo that they need to get fixed. <laughs> Watch out, bro. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody. Everybody got one. Not everybody, bro. Everybody got one that they want redone. I might do. You got one that you want at least some more color in it. Everybody got one tattoo on their body and they love to say, yeah, I'm about to go and finish. <laughs> Fuck you, now. Eight years later. That's me. That's you. That's me. You ain't even got the same kind of Come skin on. no more. Outside of my body. <laughs> it's not going to It's not going to match. Not gonna match. <laughs> Can't put the old shit with the new shit. Yeah, you ain't got the same skin. I was thinking about getting skin. this one finished. <laughs> nah, that one is finished. Come on, man. You ain't got the same skin no, no more. No, it's skin change. Ah, <laughs> that is funny. That ain't the same goddamn skin. Mm-mm. Come on. Oh, you got to get that? a redone. Ooh. Another one. Mm-hmm. Got to deal with that 16. Mm-hmm. Nigga, mm-hmm. not me green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I wanted it blue. You already know I don't fuck with you. So come on, uh, now they gon' get ooh. Fuck around and we smokin' that ooh, yeah. Get right, get your bitch, then we get tired. Yeah, so I can get light. Fuck around, ooh, take flight. Uh, don't fool me, bro. Hangin' with my nigga, school it, bro. Yeah, don't push me, bro. Fuck around, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. yeah. It's a flower, but it's a sun. Got okay. that bitch on my chest. I want it redone. Uh, cause the shit don't match. Yeah. Might do it again. Yeah. But I can't cause my nigga DC said I ain't even got the same skin. Damn. So the shit kinda smooth. <laughs> the other shit kinda rough. Yeah. Call tattoo man. Yeah. Cause I need a touch up. Uh, okay. Yeah. That ain't what I mean. Yeah. Got that bitch four years ago and this motherfucker still be bleeding. Uh, That's a disease. <laughs> Okay, yeah. You done neglected. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Oh, boy, smooth. Oh, okay. I always just go with, with well Jay Owe glasses choices. Like, I'm he don't like, want nobody to see your eye for You might be cockeyed for I get that. You know what a nigga don't want to show your eye? Crazy, like, one of them bitches bad, for real. Like, bad, bad. You cockeyed, bro. Uh, I ain't never seen bro. your eyes, for real. I ain't never seen your eyes. You can see his eyes. I ain't looking for your eyes, but I'm just saying, I need to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make sure you got them. You got eyes? I ain't never seen them. That is weird. The nigga just keep what looking at What if the nigga just put around a little bit like, hey, man, what's <laughs> Like, you blind. Where your eyes go? His eyes on his glasses. <laughs> he done drew his eyes. This nigga here, J-O-N, we find out you blind in no, one them, eye. Them glasses do look like they was attached to a hard hat, though. They do, bro. They look like, like he just go, he went, he went to get some construction. <laughs> it's a top piece. Need some Cartier construction glasses. Uh-huh. Motherfucker clean, though, Jay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got a stigmatism or something? That's the glasses you wear when you got to take a pistol exam. <laughs> 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 they got, got sharpshooter glasses on. I don't tell you. <laughs> Nigga try to get certified. <laughs> he go to the gun range, he don't need no glass. Nah, I got my own. Yeah. That shit oh, hard, though, Jay. Shit. I ain't even cap. You fuck with that? No, no that cap. shit right. Ooh, I'm talking about who? Fuck around. Ah, 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 about time that we kick this shit off. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yes, okay. indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how we living in here uh, today. DC, what the fuck you been, man? My man, working like a motherfucker, man. Working, man. These people don't even understand music on the way, TV on the way, Mo. goddamn movies on the way, yes, man. Sir. We goddamn been goddamn producing movies. this shit. We just got some shit, this shit. Shit. Niggas has been working on a whole lot of shit. Just a whole lot of shit. Thing, I appreciate it, fam. I appreciate it. That's how we do it, man. You feel But every time you be gone, they always think you gone forever. They be, hey, what, what DC? Oh, fuck. I gotta go, I gotta go do my call. They gotta know what it is, man. They, they gotta know what know. it is and they gotta respect it. They gotta know I ain't gonna never go nowhere. Well, if I'm gone, <laughs> that means I'm doing something for the 85 South. Come on, man. You hear me? You hear me? I gotta go handle my thing. They gotta go away and come back. Come on. You dig what I'm talking about? Come on, man. Because while I'm over there, I'm telling them folks, I got some shit going on at the crib. Right. They like, what that is? You ain't heard? Right. Well, you better step it on up, because we coming back here. <laughs> the tickets are already on sale. Come on, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> Speaking of which, man, we got a very special guest. Come on, man. man. We got legends, man. We got eight times legends. That's what I'm saying, bro. We ain't bringing legend. nothing but ghetto legends That's through here. We got eight times legends. Not only eight times legends, but West Side legends. West Side legends, man. Throw that shit up in their teeth. That might be the net ass, you feel me? That might be the net ass. That's the next album. I hope it is. I'm telling you, man. Ain't too many people got the West Side for real, for real. You feel me? This nigga been doing music for 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't an era of music that happened that he wasn't a part of in Atlanta. He like our Atlanta Barry Gordon, man. He been doing music since he was nine the months old. Of seven. <laughs> nine months? Nine months. The man was in the, the wildest club on the West Side with no chaperone. When he was six. And they was let, allowing him to come in the club. Yeah, and we this, had to watch it. So, this is the perfect music. Until we was old enough to go. Show exactly. <laughs> and he was in there rocking. He was in there big rocking with adults. By the time so. this man was nine years old, he was already a soul train legend. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Remember on his 10th birthday, he dropped a mixtape yeah, all yeah. by himself. I that tried. was the name of the mixtape all to. by himself. I tried to. <laughs> Straight up ATL legend. Then he was in a group with 49 other kids. Niggas. <laughs> oh, Everybody wanted to be a part. Everybody did. Everybody, Everybody wanted. Want. It was so many little rich Man, kids. It was, it was a lot of rich kids. kids. And I say, you don't know them. 
I said that too, but who are you? Still to this day, people still don't know the, the exact number of how many people there were. You know what I mean? This is a gang of y'all. Who was rapping? I knew who no, rapping. who was the rich kid? I knew kid. it was the really rich kid. Cause niggas at high school swear they were rich kids. <laughs> All right, before you even answer that. Who the fuck y'all want? This like, man has survived 22 <laughs> different it's genres. It's a hell. Who is no rich kid? Y'all niggas are out of here. You're not no rich kid. <laughs> you do not go to Doug. <laughs> well, that man crazy. One of our favorite niggas, man. They have a couple of rich kids at man. You did? They have a couple of rich School kids at man. Good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Intro, you have like, done a lot of shit. Come on, man. Man, you know Caleb, man. bro. They was at me. I thought he was at me. Oh, okay, yeah, you know how this shit be. The recruited cover folks on that. Oh, okay, say nothing about Yeah, him and DC went to daycare together. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, that's what I'm That's how west side this nigga is. Nigga don't know, nigga. Nigga fucked around. I was end up at your crib, didn't even know it. Man, we don't know each other. I'm fine, we just in there thugging. I'm just like, hell nah. I'm in here with goddamn school, but <laughs> <laughs> We know each other, but we know each other. Right. Facts. Facts. But you, bro, you deep in the Atlanta history. You done been in 22 different eras of music. <laughs> Three <laughs> groups. Every way. Six oh, record sure, labels. Man, man. Two Soul Train Awards. Uh, two Scuffles. Influences <laughs> is unmatched, bro. No cap. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Influences. Ran around the long. city. Took your shirt off at six birthday bashes and <laughs> when it come when it come when it come to that young when it come to that the this young generation stuff, man. the young generation man I think I'm 30 so nigga y'all niggas still be talked to to this day like when I see like, like the reunion shows and the tours and shit when you hear about it together, I be like, bro, that real Atlanta, bro, like it was an era in the Mecca yeah. when it was that was all we was listening to. And that what was popping at that time. You see but what if I'm you saying? look at this nigga's story, it's, this nigga kinda got like a hood for his gum story. <laughs> Cause even in the shit, like the songs he wasn't even a part of, that nigga right. still in the video. It's a fucking thread on Twitter of all the random ass places that they done seen you at in Atlanta, bro. For real? One yeah. of them is uh, partner them. A lot of people think I'm on partner them. That ain't you on the, uh, no, that's June, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You weren't on no part of it. I'm not no on part of them at all. Damn. But which help rich kid? My daddy didn't let me come outside that night. You mad at him when? What? Damn. Part of them was off this motherfucking oh, so meat. Oh, so wait a minute, so wait a minute. Part of them was off I snuck out four days straight. So it was just like, he just on he some bullshit. Well, he pulling up to see if I'm at the house. Oh, for real? <laughs> Hey, T them can't even pick me up, take me to the uh, studio. Cause you was a real house. kid at that moment. You was well, a child. That was the only thing stopping the situation. Right. But you was on What's Up. Yeah. Definitely And you was singing your ass off yes, on sir. that. Is that what, that was you was trying to make like up for time. not being on party? That's when that, that was the first that song. Shit oh, so, that, that so you went crazy and you knew you was going to go crazy on party them and then... Uh, uh, no, I just... So how party them came back? Party them, they were just... Y'all don't remember the first picture? On YouTube, when when uh, uh, how y'all saying forty niggas in, yeah, inside yeah. the tip studio in yeah. the, at the house? Yeah, that, that's how it happened. They was over there, like we always be. They was just in that motherfucker deep, bro. It was actually, bro. It was like Sean's whole crew was on that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> Goddamn, every damn near. I mean, every little legend done did they own version of that motherfucker. I did mine. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was on part of them too. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only one I ain't. Yeah. You should have <laughs> did the own, you should have did a remix. They did a remix with Cooler and Dro. And I no, still didn't put me in it, man. He did. Yeah, he did. 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 He He did. 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 He So take us back, bro. I'm from the city. We from the same side. Paint the picture. How in doing the mecca of groups and rapping, Cause niggas don't know how serious this shit was. Every September 24, 2023, we in the nasty natty. Oh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. Ohio. Ohio. The nasty natty. The nasty natty. The nasty natty. The nasty. What is wrong with you? Everything. You gotta go to the we nasty. We had the R and R center for the arts. 
the Aronoff. It's the Aronoff? A-R-O-N-O-F-F. Aronoff Center for the Arts in Cincinnati, Ohio. Aronoff Center for the Arts. September 24th. Get your tickets. That's right after we go to Naptown. Yeah. That's another ad. I'm going this crazy. This is about Cincinnati. Yep. Get your tickets, Cincinnati. No, it is different when you got a whole weekend of shows. Right, because that was the day before, but then now it's the day after. Because this, Cause they think, this gonna be aired the day of, or maybe the day before. Because they think I'm gonna be tired because I got a show the night before. Right. They don't even know I get better. After. After. No cap. We, we turn up. Come on, man. You really want your show after a show. Especially oh. when. Especially oh, when I'm in Cincinnati. You don't want to be the first bro. show. You want to be the show after the show. You hear me? You know what? They're going to get nasty in the net. Because there's some women in Cincinnati. Wait a minute. Don't say it. Because we're going to September 24, 2023. Yeah. Get your tickets, Cincinnati. Now. You know what else I like to do in Cincinnati? What's that? I like when they. Wait a minute. Don't say it. Because they got to get their tickets. Get September 24, 2023. Last time I was in Cincinnati. I'm... Wait a second. <laughs> say it. For September 24th, get your ticket. Hey, what's up, fellas? Summertime is here, and I know you got a hot chick somewhere who's having a hot girl summer. So if you want to make it even hotter, why don't you go over to BlueChew.com and get you some Blue Chew. And you can even use my promo code so you can get the first month free so you can turn up. That's exactly what it is, man. It's Blue Chew. You can make love to your lady for a long, long time. I've been telling you this for years. What are you waiting on? Go to bluechew.com right now and use my promo code and get your first month free. And don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. Because I did. I looked out for you. It showed you how to turn it up. That's right. You ain't got to believe me, though. I'm living good. Doing my thing. I already got my blue chew. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Come, Come on, on, man. I'm Nav Green, and this is The Family Business. I'm Clayton English. You know what time it is. I'm Money Bad Mafia, and we're doing perks in the VIP. Man, me, you gotta, being Greek. bro. No, okay. We gotta talk uh, about the show first. Yeah. You don't go straight yeah, to yeah, being yeah, Greek. Yeah, yeah. I, told I, I told you all that shit at the I end. October first yeah. at Zanis. October first, Zanis Family Business Tour. Thank you. you know what it is? Tickets, eighty-five South Eighty-five South, 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 South. South. You get the tickets for the meet and greet afterwards. And you know, it's, it's not gonna be no regular meet It's and gonna greet. be the freakiest shit you ever on, seen man. in your life. Well, we popping perk. No, 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 no. Ass, we popping everything. Ladies, ladies, just come to the meet and greet and it's really gonna be a greet and meet. It ain't just for, huh? It's gonna be a great meet. My player partners, y'all can come. Y'all about to play a partner, y'all can come back there to the VIP two meet and greet. Oh man, it's family business, right? It's family we playing business. spades in there, yeah. domino, drinking plenty of liquor. <laughs> the family business tour and what money bag does is completely separate. <laughs> <laughs> He's more like an independent contractor. <laughs> I'm a sole proprietor. We are not. <laughs> Every school had their own rap group. Mm-hmm. Every uh, you had to be representing, yeah. and y'all represent for Doug High. Yeah, and for sure. Y'all took off from all the schools, and we were like, fuck, we losing. These niggas on the radio. But it was fun, because we were like, yeah, it was, like, it was, it was competitive. It was like, competitive, like, competitive everybody knew we everybody weren't tripping. Won. We weren't right. like, on no right. hating competitive shit. It was, it was like, just like they, bought, they popped off her. We see them, we gonna see them everywhere we go. Right. We gonna, I'm gonna see, he gonna see me, I'm gonna see him. Like, we gonna see each other crew every right. little, little, little spot we go. You know, went back yeah. in them days, because that's just what it was. Even before we got on the radio, that, that's how we got to it. Like, right, right. Just right. being around the city, it was really like <clears throat> that. It was really that high school crowd right. back it then. That's what really was crowd. the city kind of like. Yes. Like, grown folks were coming was, to our shit. Facts. Y'all was bugging. Y'all yeah, was bugging like, already it was just, in the city. Yeah, smashed. I'm saying, like, just at that time, I feel like high school shit, like, you know, 10, like 11, D-tool 12 grade. Like, D-tool. They had all them, them high school clubs at the time. Like, Club too, D2. Club that yeah, she was dangerous. Night. So that shit, she like, was that shit had real gangsters in it, man. Yeah, like, that shit, that shit, that shit out there on Franklin Road. That shit was dangerous. But this the thing, though. We couldn't get nobody old to come perform at these spots. Mm-hmm. So it was the crews straight, from different schools straight, that was our cool. entertainment. So it was the, the crowd the same age, the people performing down there the same Nigga, age. we was. And y'all know these motherfuckers. It down there fights crazy. on the stage. Right. It down okay. there fights on the stage before it fight in the crowd. Facts. It just shit going. It was crazy. Like, just. But how did the rich kid come about 
during that epidemic and what made y'all like, when y'all knew y'all, it was over with? We didn't. We never, I don't know if. The one tip got behind y'all, we were like, oh shit, it's yeah, a wrap. That's when, I'm gonna say, I'll put it like that. Uh, that's when, like, when we started doing, like, when I, like, one of our first shows was right. the birthday bash. Right. It was like, it was kind of like we was spoiled into the game. So, like, that shit, that shit got me fucked up with, um, like, small crowds now right. to this day. Right. Because I was introduced to this shit through that. Like, right. that, like, this motherfucker, uh, Arena Field. Right. Uh, Chip going away, uh, shit. Arena Field, like, this shit was, uh, they were having the Christmas concerts and shit right then. Arena field, like, rich kids coming out, birthday bad, rich kid coming out, arena field, like, they might put this, I think they put the stage in the middle one time for the birthday bad, like, it wasn't just, like, on the end. Right. And, well, I think that was the last one we did, rich kid. And, bro, that shit crazy, bro. Oh, we, we gonna talk Man. about it. That's we gonna crazy. talk about it, cause it's history. So when y'all come about, you was a young, you was young and out the crew. Mm -hmm. Was you like in middle school then? When I met Caleb, <clears throat> I was in middle school. Right. Uh, me and Caleb actually stayed in the same house out to each other. Right. Like from the same street. That's crazy. That's crazy. In the same house, like yeah. once you moved, he like, stayed in your house. Yeah. No, once he moved, I stayed in in <laughs> in, in one of the day house. Yeah. Uh huh. So me just, you know, I'm going back and forth. My my bus stop. Cause I gotta go all the way to Bunch. Right. I'm going to Bunch. My bus stop, I gotta walk up Baker Road, go all the way up Cedar. Right. They catching the bus for Doug at the top of Cedar. Right. So I gotta go pad them every day. You know, me seeing them just, I'm like, damn, I don't even know these folks yet. Like, damn. Bro, them got down. They pulling up Blue Firebird. Beat up motherfucker, but running. You know right. what I mean? Like back in that day, that was right. what that you was, need. That was what you need. All blue fiber. Um, Caleb, Caleb car. He every time he pull up, he got cleaner clothes in the in the back. Cleaner clothes. Rock Republic, True Religion, like all Pretty the shit, just polo shit, like just. Man, they ain't make a piece. But he done got, got like every time I see these niggas, boy, they look like they going to school. Right. This on the weekend, clean, though. Right. I see these niggas on the weekend. Listen, these niggas got on shit better than they had on on the Doing weekday. weekday. You know hear I me? Mean? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm gonna go up here on the hill. Right. Go up here on the hill for Caleb. Um, um, Caleb figured out I could rap. Well, he just heard me. He, I was I was rapping for my cousin. Right. You know, but he heard me. Right. Well, bro, you, you, know what I'm you, you rapping this shit, little bro? Oh, shit, we, shit, we got to do up, like, how nigga be these right. days. You got to do something. He been like, that, that's, that was crazy. Like, he like, we got to do up something. Like, I ain't going to lie. We, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I, ain't, I don't just do this shit like that. I'm going to try this shit with you. Right. Like, like that's how me and Caleb met. Literally, that, like, them words. Like, right. boom. Yeah. Shout out to start. We, don't never even, we ain't even recorded yet. Shout out to start taking me to uh, scene night. He took me to see that. Hey, dude. Like, yes. Change your motherfucking life. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Walk me, you know that, that time? having that motherfucker in the gym? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We walk through that motherfucker, go, go straight, straight up, to the top. Straight up, straight up to the top. Up to Come the back top. down the step, walk all the way through that motherfucker. Yeah, walk through. Everybody that's in that motherfucker looking at these boys while, while they walking through. And I'm with these boys. So, by the time the, the third little event, Right. For some high school shit, everybody know me. Right. School boy. Now that's school boy. Right. right. I remember that. I remember that. that. School boy, boom, so I can't wait to get to Doug. Right. I'm not going to there. Right. I'm not going not to no one. Just because I'm going to bunch right here. Oh, no, yeah. I'm not going to there. Dad, I'm going to Doug. That's what I want to do. Right. You said you want me to do this school so I can rap that, and I want to go here. I got to go with my friends. Right. Yeah, man. You had to get in that hallway, gang. Right. Get there first day. Where you at school? They walking through the hallway looking for me. You know right. what I mean? Hallway, stairwell, like a real movie, like a real 80s, 70s movie, bro. Like hallway, stairwell, got down, standing there. 
whatever books you got, whatever class you finna go to, but we on the stairs, like right. everybody like damn near got their own stair. And they got to like, and they got to pass y'all. Yeah, like how the crew be when on the move and when they being yeah. funny or whatever, like this shit for real, like yeah, that these boys like this, like got to be on the wall, but we on the stairs up here at the top every time. You talking like, to talk. Oh shit, like yeah. boy, we really something at this motherfucker, boy. Yeah. This at school. Yeah. We're going to just start rapping, go at K-Rap, uh, K-Rap Bayman, bro. Right. And I just, I just said shit. I'm, you know, I had already been doing, the, just singing and shit like right, my dad right, sang. Right. So, you know, like, I'm talking about never recorded nothing type shit. Like, I'm talking about in the neighborhood, people coming to my mama door, like, knocking on, your son, you know? Yeah, yeah, hold on. He, he, he can come out here and sing to me. Right. <laughs> like, they really like these right. grown women. I swear to God, these grown women with children and all this shit. Like, How I ain't old, no, this, no, this, this I'm you a child. School. This middle, this this, 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 this why I'm in middle school, but I'm probably like sixth grade, seventh grade. Like, this, I'm a child. Like, right. Like, so, had I already been experimenting. Yeah, right. So, when I get in there, like, got them. My boy got to be fucking with me. Right. I got to do something. Had him like, boy, oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. The old head behind it you. Was it was that, extra. too. So, goddamn. Now, I'm talking about K-Dum. Know what I'm so saying? Like, yeah, so, like, <clears throat> and they playing the beat for what's up? Motherfucker, come on. I, I'm, this shit crazy because it's literally the first beat, only beat we played. We didn't go through no shit. Like, boom. Hmm. Right. What's up beat play? And I just start, I just start, um, Start saying, like, what's up? What's up? What's up? I said, what's up? While Caleb was saying, like, he like, shit sound like some, we hit the mall, ball all day. Like, he saying shit like that. He just, he just saying, he just saying it, and then he started rapping. So, what's up? Boom. And then when I went in the booth, right? That when I tried to, what's up? What's up? What's up? Right. What's up? So I'm like, <laughs> when I do the shit, I'm like, what the fuck? You played it. It sounded like it sounded. Right. When I, I'm like, shit. I ain't saying, I ain't hearing them out there, so I walk out the closet. They like, boy, y'all act the same. Right, like, right, that was right. Caleb, I'm like, boy, y'all act the same. Right. What are you doing? Like, do your verse. Right. Like that way, that's how Caleb is, because he ain't done. Right. He, he not done. He trying to get his he shit done. He know what they're doing. He's like, he like, <laughs> uh, he damn, he's he like, he's already dead. Like, <laughs> fuck, like, that's all I do. Man, I do. Well, I already had that verse. Right. You just couldn't wait to put nah, it listen, into a beat. Like, this was on some, probably two, three years. Like, I'm talking about, for real, like, that verse was embedded, like, I'm over with Emmy, like, are you doing like that, school boy? I be balling. Guapaholic, shopaholic, all in it, smiling. Ballads on my feet, true, sad, money talking. <laughs> like, it was just on some, me watching like, like I was telling you earlier, like, it was Wayne. Right. Tilt. Right. Like, just watching Wayne, just his swag like that, just where I got like just pretty much. But right. all my swag, it ain't even no, you know, no shit like that. It just, he was what it was right. when I was growing up. Right. No matter what, that was the top right. type shit. Like, right. No disrespect to no other big dogs. You know, he the best rapper alive. He the best rapper alive. Like, it was a time. Literally right. that, at that time, Facts. why he was trying to get that point across. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Like, so to, to me, at least, so it was like, you know, like I said, like, once he got down, Stopped wearing the baggy pants and switched over to the skinnies. The world did. Type. Right. Like, I, I would tell him, like, that me, he said, boy, the world did. Like, right. And they did. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm being modest. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, shit, I switched over for sure. Like, I wasn't wearing a bit true no more from when we, how we were. Right. Boy, me and Kayla done going to goddamn H&M now and goddamn, we gonna pump some coats for shit. Like, right. go buy some new J's, I for one, whatever. Put right. on us a shirt. Yeah, I'm like, so that shit, like, transition with that shit. Yes, sir. So that's how I kind of, like, me just trying to be Wayne, bro. I swear to God, I'm, that's, the verse really probably be slow. Mm. Slower than how it is, but mm -hmm. that's just, 
Because if you say it slow, it, you're going to be like, oh, that nigga okay. trying to sound like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm telling you, like, why you doing like that at school, boy? I be balling. Shopaholic, shopaholic, all in Lenny Smiling. Yeah, right, right. Hollers on my feet, true sad, money taller. Right. Girl steady calling, producer say I'm stalling. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. like, I'm okay. really, like, okay. so I switched it up, though, because mm -hmm. we was on the, the up and up sound. Right. right. It wasn't no laid back, it was, because I'm singing now, right. shit. So I'm, why you doing like that? School, boy, that squeaky motherfucker. Right, yeah, right, I'm right. straining yeah. that motherfucker, like, get that motherfucker out. Right. I'm going to come out of that motherfucker, they like, boy. <laughs> you hard, then Kay was still like, man, you go ahead and done, bro. Right. <laughs> like, I, so like, I it like, it. It like Caleb, me and Caleb, we, we built our bond. That was, that's who put me in Rich Kid. Right. Bro. That's who told me, like, bro, you, you, you family. You, you Rich Kid, bro. You right. on the up, bro. Like, you, right. like, them words. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as a matter of fact, when we re, when we re recorded, what's up? Right. Because it was gonna go on the radio. Right. So, so had we to had to do it right. Re record okay. it. Okay. Like not do nothing different. No then we ain't switch up no verse. Well, Shaw had switch up his verse a little bit, but right. it's still the same verse. Right. We re recorded at Grand Hustle, which is Street is at right now. That's I'm great. back in that building again, you hear me? Right. I pulled the bed in that building. Facts. I just I be feeling like that too. So in the street room, I remember it. Right. Um when we finished, you know, we used to be writing on the CD when we get our burn. Mm -hmm. Like, Kayla, like, Kayla say, what you want me to um, put on the CD, uh, little bro? How you want me to name? I'm gonna put Rich Kid Feature School Boy, or you with us? Before I could answer, Kayla, like, man, you with us, man. Right. You my little brother. Like, yeah, I'm like, this in real life. Right. So, Jay. I ain't take nothing away from him saying, boy, hey, you with us. Right. Yeah, that's all I'm hearing right. type shit. Like, fuck what he talking about all them motherfuckers. Hell yeah, yeah. Right. Like, what? You oh, just I just got initiated. I'm in here. <laughs> I'm in this bitch. It's a wrap. I just what? got promoted. I just thought I was, right. I, I right. thought I was gonna take a minute, boy. Right. Right. Yeah, so that's like, it, it was me, up. it was me trying to transition from knowing, like, I, you know, I didn't know what I was or what I could do at that point. Right, like, right. So, I'm on that one, like, the, like, I'm telling you, like, boy, I just, I just was walking past these boys every day, like, want to hang with these boys, yeah, I'm like, want to be a real kid, I want to be a real kid. I need to have clean clothes like that. Right. Brr, 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 brr. Hell, they got going on. Right. I became a real kid, yeah, right. so I was just happy. So it was just, that's how that even. He <laughs> looked like it, he looked like, like it. <laughs> that, that, cause, and all the shit was natural. It was just so, the way even, I'm talking about from the stage present to how we came on that bitch, like how we acting on the stage, like, right. it was just natural, bro. Right. Recording, like, it was just natural. Um, of course, like this shit, like, my passion though. You know, for like, for like Caleb, it was, and Caleb would tell you too, like, mm -hmm. it, he used to tell me all the time, like, well, bro, you love this shit. It's a joke for me, you know what I'm some paper for me, yeah, mm -hmm. like, and you can't do nothing but respect that too, because right. Caleb always been a hustler. Right. I'm talking about that hustler, I know, you right. yeah, I mean, he gonna get him some money. Till the day, mm -hmm. no bullshit, having paper. And like he tried to taught me like so much shit, bro. That's why I said he the one embraced me and and really just that's how that shit even became what it became. Even to the end when we saw y'all ride yeah. and just ride it out, yeah. even to the ones on the outside looking in, it was like that was that was that was a good look. Yeah, when it felt like when it felt like everybody kind of gave up on when 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 the group uh, like everybody split did mm -hmm. their own thing. It was like shit. I ain't like, what the brother. fuck we gonna do? I'm talking to Caleb, right. you know what I mean? So, we in the, like, this shit is, like, vividly in my face, bro. Like, I'm talking about, I'm seeing the color of the sky, gang, on the spreadway, gang. Me and Caleb in the truck, bro. It usually me, Caleb, Charles, Big Man, Guap, mm -hmm. 
and shot in his own car behind or, or in front of, we follow him, whatever. Bro, this day, it, it, I'm talking about like this was literally probably the day after we didn't, we didn't sign. Like, like literally, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, Kayla coming up, Fab and Road, going past, uh, what the shit is right there? When we go past, um, when we go past the sicko. What about, what about you at the sicko? Going to a KK. We the lab, at, new apartment right there. You up. talking about, uh, Columbia coming? KK coming? What you talking about, four block? Is it preserved? No, we're coming back now. Yeah, you and preserved. We're preserved coming, to the right. We're coming back We're coming this yeah. way. We're going preserved to the right before you get to your spot where you used to be yeah. at. The preserve. Yeah, right. exactly. Um, Man, Kayla Ryan up that motherfucker going toward May, though. Right. Oh, so y'all going, y'all coming going, back this way. Coming, yeah, okay. but we passed yeah. an apartment. Right. I remember this shit like yesterday. Bro, right. we on, Caleb on the phone, right? And the whole time he on the phone, he, he, he doing like, he like, look, bro, you know, you know, the, you know, these niggas got down. Shit, I guess it's that man, you look, bro, like, I'm like, huh? Then he just get explained, like, shit. Shout it on turn and so on so shout it already got down say he finna got down do his, his fifth street shit. Right. Got down Charles was in jail at right. the time. Right. Uh and I'm, he, I'm like, huh? He like, bro, I'm in the passenger game. I'm like, huh? He like, yeah. But he on the phone the whole time, but he, he like, yeah. I'm like, hell no, he like, yes. I'm like, man. What we gonna shit. do? You know I'm with you anyway, like shit like that. But he was saying it at the same time. Right. Like, you know I'm with you anyway, though, little bro. Like fat, like. But he. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm saying it at the same time. Shit, Chaz. That shit was like really, bro. It was raining that day, bro. Wet, bro. Sky was kind of gray, gang. Right. Bro, I was feeling down, gang. Like what the fuck? Just happened. The, the momentum. Cause this shit, yes, it bro. Was, like we were just epic. going all across the states and shit. We weren't doing no shit. Like what right. the fuck? What? The... Shit, just all cause I ain't signed. Cause you didn't sign. Yeah. It wasn't the right deal though. Right. It right. wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't. It wasn't supposed to happen. It, it didn't happen. Right. Um. And it was like. Man, keep blowing my blunt out. <laughs> it was like after that. <laughs> Move that fan a little bit. After that day. After that day. Goddamn, you know me. I'm, I'm fucking around with. By that time, I'm fucking around with every side of right, town. Right, right. On the music tip, the like, right. like, especially John Burr South. Yes, sir. Like, especially like Thug yes, Team. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. Goddamn, like everybody like cash out at that yes, time. Yes, sir. Even like Ralph. Everybody it was like, so Dundeal mm -hmm. was, was fucking with You gave Thug. him his sound. His, Dundeal his. was fucking with Thug. Right. right? And Thug called me to the studio. Say Dundeal won't work with you. Right. Boom, I pull up to the studio, Thug pull up with me. Right. And he pull off. I'm in there with Shout it alone. By, my, by yourself. Boom, we all stab boom. I did three verses to I see you. Caleb gambling. The whole time. Caleb dropped me off. Y'all picked the big verse. Caleb dropped me off. Caleb dropped me off. And he was he was gambling with y'all. I got down. I did three verses to that motherfucker. I kept calling Caleb Vash. Kept calling. That how much like he was my brother, like that how loyal I was. Yeah, I'm like, ah, nigga trip, bro. I don't know how you gonna be, guy. Come on. That deal like this, yeah, man. This motherfucker done. Right. It's a rap. This motherfucker done. You're tripping. Why you? Man. Hey, bro. I'm pulling up, little bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna keep lying to you. I'm pulling up, little bro. I just, had, I just beat them niggas out of all that money, man. Them niggas mad at me, one kid. Right. I'm pulling up. We pull up, he gets second verse, we split third verse. Facts. Fuck you talking bro. about? I got to wait on my man. That motherfucker come out, it's like we wake back up, start rising back through that bitch. I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, man, nigga get the goddamn 
deal shopping and shit. Yeah. Like it, it's got down yeah. little, little wars by the nigga. Yeah. Like, hey, we yeah. need something. Yeah. And I'm like, I brought her back. Yeah. In my head, you know what I mean? Brought her back. And I just wanted to keep going. Right. Cause that scared me. Yeah. Right. But that's how we like we just went over that home. Like kinda of like, yeah, cause it was just I was just fucking around, like, I was fucking with everybody, so whatever producer wanted for me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and I did was kind of like going crazy at that time, too. Right. Then it was like, even underground, whatever you want to call it, man, he got so many old Thug songs that probably ain't came out. Right. So many old My Song with Thug, uh, with, with, with some more people from Cleveland or right. John Versailles that ain't never came out. Yeah, I'm like, right. That shit, man. And me and Shouty used to go to his shit, just me and him. Right. Like, me and Thug, like. On some just pull up shit, just, nigga. I don't, I don't know. I, me and him used to be fucking around a lot. <laughs> like, when I was in Rich Kid days, in right. that era, like, like, a lot. Like, used to bring him to everything we had going on. He hit me like, Rick Head got whatever. Concert, oh. Rick Head got whatever, like a party. Hey, pull up, perform, boy. Man, shout out to do that goddamn <laughs> 100,000, I mean, $100 autograph. Listen to me. Listen to me. So, so it's just crazy, because me and him, man, Slime used to like call each other, bro. And do not answer just to leave a verse on your answer machine. No kidding. Each other. I swear to God, I could die up online, gang. I'm talking about, like, this on some every other day shit. It would leave a verse on a nigga voicemail. Leave man. a verse on a nigga voicemail, gang. Like, both of us, like, calling each other, leave a verse. On, I swear to God. Nigga used to put verses on their voicemail. Like, me and him were doing that type shit. Like, yeah. I used to pick him up, he used to pick me up. Man, we got down. In the city. For real. I always had knew he was gonna be was something a little totally different, like from everybody. Stupid. I'm like, this nigga here is wicked. Just the shit he was saying, bro, like back then, he was tripping, like going crazy. So I'm like, this nigga gonna be some more shit. And they already knowing it, they know it, so they play him in the hood every day. Like, we all, every time we get some unreleased thug shit, playing this shit, everybody. There's this no cap, every side, I don't give a damn where they were from. Facts. Niggas playing that. Facts. They had that. Like, one day, boy, I'll be missing them days. Some good day. <laughs> That's some good day. Some good day. Motherfucker, man. It's been a lot of history right there, though. Yeah, bro, this yeah. nigga's been everywhere. Got down, bump in the future, like. Yeah. So, bro. Yeah. Like, All that wheel like, of food. Everybody and shit. took a nigga in, like, little bro. Everybody know what's up with a nigga, like. Yeah. It's just a matter, I feel like, I guess, it's just a matter of applying myself, uh, putting this shit out, you know, right. staying consistent, you know, as far as, like, my music and shit, like, I'm gonna get there. It's consistency, it's a motherfucker. Yes, sir. Like you say you been doing, you say you're 28, you been doing this shit since Ooh. middle school. And they yes, been sir. knowing you. People been on you. <laughs> it's like it's like being a mogul. It's like being a mogul, bro. You ain't gotta worry about being Michael Jackson if you Barry Gordon. Put this shit together. Not only if I can put this shit together, I know the same people that you know. The same people. Everybody you just named, nigga. I just went through. I just went through that whole journey with your ass. All I know exactly what he talking about. Yeah. For him saying he got to be on the. If you was somebody, you had to be in the stairwell on the steps. Yes, sir. Was well, that was school we wasn't was the at. niggas that was walking past the steps. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We was the nigga on the stairwell. When the class break up, nobody better be in our spot. Yes. Yes. That's how I spot. <laughs> Everybody else keep walking. But we post up God, at the yeah. stairwell because we got make something y'all going own on. Spot somewhere. Make y'all own spot somewhere. They're cool with it. Listen. You gotta stand down there in front of us or something, cause we up here on the top still. Right. Like, we up here. Everybody <laughs> gotta calm down, so we looking down on everybody here. Like, 
and they was and they was the ones who set the blueprint for what was going on at that time. Like how you said. So everybody fresh, everybody on the steps, everybody in this shit got yeah. shit on. But like, that's just how, bro. That's how I remember shit that shit on. vividly, bro. Like, he that said that shit. shit crazy, for him to bro, say bro, that like, that was going on at his school. This shit stairwell bro, shit, bro. bro literally, bro. So the stairwell guy. Bro. The main stairwell. Listen, not just, not it's just four, listen, not it's just four stairwells. Stairwell. This back. shit, the way, the way Doug was set up, it's four stairwell, like long hallway, <laughs> stairwell, stairwell, short hallway, stairwell, stairwell, long hallway. Like, that's how it was set up. Right. So it's four goddamn little goddamn stairwells go, right. doing the same thing. But y'all got y'all. Everybody coming to this same stairwell. This right. one stairwell, like, right. like principal coming to the motherfucker, like, y'all gonna stop coming to this same stairwell, like, <laughs> in real life, bro, like, mad at us, like, y'all, y'all think, like, real talk. It's not a block. I just got Keep here. Yeah. I just got here. This yeah. is what I'm saying, like, that's why I said this shit like a movie, like, I just got here. This is my first day seeing this shit, like. But and I feel to be the like, man since day one, nigga. That was different. I was in tenth grade. I'm still so you was in the eighth. Mm. So when the shit popped But he going where you want to go. He was already in the club that we couldn't get in because we saying. were kids. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You wanted to be in there, but he already in there. We watching them live our life. Man. Like, we, we're living life through them like, <clears throat> yeah, we may be fast and maybe in the streets, but it's like, <laughs> they let when it comes to entertainment, <laughs> They, they doing it at an adult level. Yeah, they like, where like, it was we, like, we them start niggas, going in them clothes. The niggas, like, it was like, oh. Man, on that one night, it's Snuggers and Crucial. You got them earphones in your ear, Snug, man. Come on, don't take them. I know what the fuck no, going on. I ain't taking on. them. I ain't, you see how that took them? Yeah. I still got one in, you feel me? <laughs> but look. Mm. Man, that shit, that night, bro, it was like, bro, cause like, I'm like, 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 you know, I'm from the west side, so I'm staying four streets down from right. the front of Crucial. Right. Come to the top, bottom of my street, I can walk up four little blocks. Like, right. that ain't even no real blocks. Like, four right. little streets, bro, on Bankhead. Hey, my name is Carlos Miller, and it brings me extreme pleasure to invite you to my show September the 29th, because guess where it is? Montgomery, Alabama. Guess what one of my favorite places in the world is? Montgomery, Alabama. Man, it feel like a family reunion. I cannot wait. So make sure you grab you some tickets and come see me at the end of the day. It's my own tour. Come on, Montgomery. Come on. Hey, I fucked with Montgomery. Y'all know why. Hey, man, it's Clayton English. Sometimes I'm hungry, man, and I don't have time to go to the grocery store. I'm hitting DoorDash. That's what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you DoorDash it, but they're delivering groceries now, too. It don't just have to be takeout from the little takeout place. You can actually get you some fresher groceries. You need to eat some vegetables. Look at you. You're looking like you need a few vegetables, some fruits in your life, man. You're probably vitamin C deficient. You're always on your phone. You need rutabaga. All right? Y'all eating the wrong vegetables, man. Get you old people vegetables. Stop eating collard greens. Eat turnip greens and mustard greens. If it don't make the house stink, it ain't good for you. All right? Listen, DoorDash, all your grocery needs, get them taken care of. You got plenty of grocery stores to choose from. Pick a grocery store near you. Boost the local economy. Get what you need. Look, you're going to get what you ordered. And if you don't, they going to make it right. If they do wrong, they gonna make it right. How many people saying that nowadays? So DoorDash, hit them up, man. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order when you order up to $20 in value and you use the code SOUTHFALL. That's 50% off up to $20 on no minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SOUTHFALL. Don't forget, that's code SOUTHFALL for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we can't go nowhere unless we come to the Windy City. Yes, period. So we coming to Chicago. October the 13th, we're going to be at City Winery. Doors open at 6. Show starts at 8. Y'all know we love Chicago. We about to turn up. We about to have a ball. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all, if you missed the show last year, you are going to be so mad if you miss it this year. I promise you, it's gonna be super lit, super turned up. So make sure you go to www.poorminds.com right now and get your tickets October 13th, Friday. 
We'll see y'all, Chicago. No, no. And be in front of Crucial, and then walk up probably 10 more steps or whatever, and be at Pool Palace, you hear me? Like, so before Crucial had got turned into Crucial from the Mexican. Right. I'm at Pool Palace anyway with Caleb them, cause we across the street at Toe Jam. Right. Literally across the street from the door. So right. we going in there already. Tip, you know, like we start fucking around with KT, so tip, you know. He fucking around. Then before he gotta go sit down. Right. Get to that motherfucker. There, like, hell no. Nah. They're like, hell no, nah, I'm not letting them little motherfucking uh, niggas <laughs> yeah, in my mood. Oh, hell no, nah, you're not finna get me. No, no. You're right. And Tilt, like, hey, man, let them in. Come on, man. Let them in. They're gonna do that shit and just get up out of here. Right. Man, I swear to God, we got on. Listen, bro, that old, that old, I'm talking about, that motherfucker was thick to the stage. Right. Chess, right. chess to the stage. Grown Ladies, folk. like, grown folk. Grown folk. Yeah. Bro, who should been like that? We that came out that yeah. motherfucker. They was the grown bro. folk when they were grown. We were still kids. Yes, I was really a child coming out that motherfucker. Like, bro, I don't know if y'all just looked at. I just, I just went back when I just seen my picture, bro, sitting on yeah. top of the gold right. game, like with the mohawk, bro. Like, yeah, bro, the mohawk. Thing. I was a child, bro. Child. I was a child, bro. We got on that stage, bro. Like, I've been on this motherfucker. Like, I ain't even looking at that yet. Like, like, I'm looking at whoever in the back. Right, whoever. right. Yeah. 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 Wait. What yeah. Y'all? They like that. Oh. Oh, you know how, you know how <laughs> grown folk, you know how they be when they chill. They do their thing. thing. They high sleep. Yeah, right. Right. Like, on yeah. that third time we going, we went in cool, they like, oh, oh. But that thing, no camera come up. Like, lights. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, we fend that motherfucker by tip, get all right out of that motherfucker, literally come back down those steps, go right out the door right there again. Right. The way I came in, we couldn't even stand that motherfucker the first time we performed. Facts. Second time. Hey, Libby. We was in that motherfucker. <laughs> and that solidified with the younger generation. Yeah, it was. Because like, it was like, y'all seen them at Crucial? Yeah. And then Nigga they start doing up. that. They start doing the, uh, you remember they started the, the, doing the, the Mondays the, or whatever. The, the weird, Monday, whatever. Uh, performances yeah, and y'all going up there. Couldn't everybody win. Nobody win. <laughs> You're not winning if Rick Kid coming. Take that little punk ass song, go back down to detour. Everybody Rick coming. Rick Kid finna come in here and it's a wrap. Hey, y'all gonna do your song on Monday at Crucial? You know Rick Kid gonna be there. I ain't. Hey, we gotta do our shit next Monday. And you gotta let the motherfuckers know that the niggas who was in there performing, was dead ass serious about these songs that yes, he was performing to me. Yes, sir. Not Bro. tell a nigga he wasn't performing a high But they paid for that though. <laughs> Man, you they better paid say for that, that nigga name right. Hey, you that was some West Side shit. When you bring nah. him to the stage, nigga. Oh, they niggas doing all that. Like, that was always fun. I always used to host a lot of like open mics and rappers and shit. Like, niggas who be like, the comedy grand funny, but niggas who be trying to make it in the rap world. These niggas that have a car See, full of people. On the west side, you couldn't do that. You had to respect a nigga even if the song was trash. Six brothers, four that sisters. That nigga shoot that goddamn club. Two boys. <laughs> Tripping, boy. You better act like that bitch was hard. One pistol. Six. Six. Hey, boy, that song you just did, boy. That motherfucker was all right, boy. That was all right. your thing. Come back next right. year. Come back next week. All right. All right. Nigga, let's see part. That shit was weak in a <laughs> bitch, boy. You heard that nigga? Hey, you let that nigga get, get out of the stage. I was, I was down there finna walk out. Like. <laughs> That's how it used to be, boy. They, they used to put so many people on the stage, trying That's to get exactly so many people, to, as many people they can on the stage before. No matter what we went, I used to be like, bro, what the fuck? Before I felt, I mean, before I figured out what it meant. Right, yeah, right. Like, right. They say the bad for last type right. shit. Uh, right. But boy, wait. Yeah. That waiting shit. And man. then if that shit ain't just cool or uh, even just mild, that man, that means you gotta go there and do it. You gotta go up there and go over there. Kill the crap. Like, what? Done killed you already. You just, it's some bullshit. You already looking down, waiting. Real but time, I commend man. you and Caleb That's for keeping that, that keeping that that run <clears> going, bro. Like, cause like you said, we followed the story. We knew what was going on at yeah. the time. But then, like you said, I see you. I see you was like how you said, it was like, oh shit, these niggas do this shit for real. And not only do they do this shit for real, 
these niggas are why they who they are. The rich, when you speak of the rich kids, it's like some temptation shit when it comes to the city group era, because that was a real era, bro. That era ran like almost like six, seven years. Oh, yeah. But them niggas was on top the entire time. It was never nobody. It was a couple schools that had, you know, them savages had they run. was a good little run. So. But it was like, eh. We ain't really get our run to once we got out of high school. Yeah. Then we got them. We had them. But you know what's cold out. though, man? It's just uh, just saying you be one of the young niggas that come up in the city and still have the longevity, even though you're still a young nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. you you earned your spot and you kept it. Yeah. Yeah. And you ain't never let the success make you comfortable enough to stay away from the music long enough where people are like. What the fuck school at? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you still out here in their ass, bro. Thank like, God, you man. I ain't mad at what that yeah. on No. Musically, you went, like, you said you went from the from the Trues to the Skinny J's. Musically, you did all that shit, but you inspired that rock star shit, mm -hmm. the hairstyle. Mm -hmm. A lot of young kids, that was, that was what was going for a minute. And just, you been able to hit, like you said earlier, every wave, man. How, how you think you, I mean, I think, you kind of might have answered it because it seemed like you just be a part of it, man. Mm -hmm. You everywhere, you rock with everybody. So I think you got your finger on it before anybody else could, man. He had it. I just always, I guess I always just been, you know, just genuine. Right. On some, you know, you know, that shit that sound so cliche. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but it's real. But, it's but real, no, I'm right? telling them, tell them the real, because niggas was hanging on you in the beginning. For sure. Like, for sure. You fought through. Mm -hmm. The bush. Literally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, bro, he was like getting hated on as a young nigga. So. Nah, he ain't that, nah, he ain't that. But at the same time, y'all got his CDs in the car. Mm -hmm. You right. playing the music. Your kids know it. Don't your know, your dance. bitch know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes it even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Your bitch doing she the same. It. What's then, up? Then, oh, every time they see it. Then, then your, 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 little brother, your little brother don't know it. Right. I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. Now your mom don't know it. Right. Yeah. Now you like, hey, You the only nigga in the house don't know the shit. You know what I don't know? No, you do know it. You sang about yourself. I'm like, yeah. Right. Like, it, was, it really was like that for real. It was real. hate until it was like, all right. High school it was shit. school, but what? now it's like, okay, so this school, you, but. You think it was just like some high school shit? Yeah. Or you think it's just, just okay. Yeah, and you so, know, and I feel like at that age, we was territorial. Okay. Definitely. Um, yeah. And, and it wasn't like, even like he said, yeah, it wasn't personal ever. Like, okay. like he said, we was competitive, like at all times. So, yeah, I think it, that came with that age yeah. anyway, and it that, just that what that time, that it era. Cause yeah. we was off the porch at niggas that time. Niggas turn, yeah. turn your shit off. <laughs> no, cause we come from, we, come but we came, we come from a fighting oh, era. Yeah. It probably got to that point. It, did. it probably got to that point for real. Like, right. It probably got to that point. I bet not. He know what's up in this house. But like you said, you every school had their own crew, and we came from a fighting era. So like you said, nigga would fight on stage before mm -hmm. it'd be a fight in the, in the crowd. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like so, it was like your crew had to be yeah, like, like that shit. Right. Like, right. like in order for right. you to come perform yeah. and do yeah, it, like bro, yeah, nigga yeah. would get tried. Oh, that yeah. nigga come get punched on like, before like you get you up. us and just jumping on stage right. like move right. out of the way. Right. Boy, hey. Yeah. Who is y'all? What make niggas bro? do shit like that? Bro, we was just wild back then, bro. Nigga be performing. It, it'll be crazy. A nigga, yeah. a group will be performing, yeah. and some niggas would just come on stage and take the mic from a nigga. Yes, yes. I was just gonna say that. Bro, no cap. Uh, before, before taking the mic, nigga might, just, nigga might, you know, you know, you know when you see the, the drunk, the, the two drunk partner sometimes, man, I'm talking about, but this like the two, two drunk partner, he just on bullshit. <laughs> right. Walk to he, he they in the back of the club. You walk to the damn stage. That movie ain't packed enough. You walk all the way to the stage. Then turn around, throw it up, whatever you throw it up. Like making sure everybody <laughs> see you doing Thanks. this in front of a nigga. Like nigga, we're doing that type Thanks. of shit. Like, yeah. like yeah, like yeah. say something, say yeah. something to me. Tell me, get right. out of the way. Right. What you would like right. shit like that. Like. Right. Air was crazy. Air was crazy. Air was crazy, and that's why I don't know. I got a lot of respect. Yes, she did. For the era and from it, you know, like, so I'm grateful. Yeah. Forever grateful. Y'all in here just going down What's memory that? lane. This weed and damn that took me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit then went down the wrong trick. Come on, yeah, we <laughs> bring me back. Welcome back to the A Fast <laughs> South Show. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Come on.
wrong. Oh, you ever had a weed go down the wrong? Yes, indeed. Shit went under my arm. <laughs> down my leg. Down my back. <laughs> you know Came how back, choked the shit out of You know how to run like y'all, though? Mm. Uh, Savvy Gang, Smag Gang, now. Oh, yeah, sure. They had to run. They had to run. Sure. That, was sure. good, that was a good run. We got them linked over them. Yep. Yeah, they got them uh, Smag Gang and Redhead tape. Hey. Ben Jack. Because I ain't even gonna lie, they, they, need, they needed that little help, though. Ben Redhead. Quan, Quan was got down. Whoo! Yeah, he was on some punch, punch and shit. He boy. was, he was hey, haymaking. Him, yes. And because he know how to, his music was good. Mm -hmm. That what made it bad because his music was actually good and it was like, yes. ooh, did you hear that last diss? Man. And then they would come with a diss, but it was like that was good, but he put some melodies on his. <laughs> 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 Nigga was like, I like yeah. melodies. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Y'all do good too, though. I fuck with it, but I like the little melodies. And when y'all came with the y'all shit, bro, that's why I say, but I had a lot of rap, and bro, nice. that shit was epic. They had to beat up. Shout we ain't know nobody, everybody that. Shout out to Boo. Man, we did that. Uh, what happened to Atlanta? Oh, that shit hard, and too. And the remix, What Happened to Atlanta. We got both videos. What happened like, to Atlanta, man? Both songs out. You what feel they be thinking? Me? Like, motherfuckers just swear they from Atlanta, man. You feel me? I don't know where that shit be back. <laughs> like, how y'all? That rap stone, man. <laughs> 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 that rap stone. I was from Stone Mount. I would say I was from Stone Mount. That ain't the east side. <laughs> That's Stone Mount. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? These are not our clothes, these are not our cars, but we will be in Huntsville, Alabama. On what? The 19th. There you go. October 19th. Yeah, October 19th. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, October 19th. October 19th. Uh -huh. Stand up live. Huntsville, Huntsville Alabama. Hello. All our people, all our Alabamians, uh, you know. Well, I got a special guest coming. I already talked to him. Got? Carly Russell will be in the oh, building. Oh, yes, okay, okay, look, check this out, check this out, check this out. Not only is Carly Russell coming, Nick Saban. We also oh. having a meet and greet where you're gonna be able to see us. You're gonna be able to kick it with Carly. Carly gonna host the search party yeah. afterwards. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. And that you baby, gotta that baby gonna be there too. The baby, we found that baby. baby. That baby, we the found baby. that baby. The baby. Oh, that baby. Yeah, that Turns baby. out he's not a baby at all, man. Mm -hmm. It was <laughs> now. Baby. It was now. She it said on me. the highway. It was she me. Not a baby. <laughs> He had on no, she had on no pants and a shirt. Yeah. And I was doing this dance that I'm gonna do yeah. at the meet and greet. Yeah. When you get back there and you see me doing yeah. this, ladies, just follow me. Yeah. You the only Man. person I seen let the ladies do body shots off you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you real freaky, y'all. So if that's what you into. Well, Man, what? Hey, no. This is family business tour, and that's not my family business. I be the left by that time. <laughs> but when Nav start dressing like Donald Duck, that's when I leave. <laughs> that's why you gotta get them tickets at 85 mm -hmm. South Show. 85SouthShow.com. October 19th. Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. Call the Russell Oh, October the 8th. What we going? We're going to North Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> That's North Little Rock. We're going to be at the Simmons Bank Arena, October 8th, we 2023. It's the a, Simmons Bank Arena. Is that a bank or a credit union? It's a bank inside, ain't it? It's an arena. With a bank in it. In North Little Rock? Yep. You know the craziest thing about North Little Rock? What's that? Is them girls. Psych! You thought you had it, <laughs> but you don't. And you will on October the 8th in oh, North Little Rock, October Arkansas. The 8th. Get your ticket. Yeah, hey, hey. We're gonna be in the North bank. Little Rock. North Little Rock got them little, you know them little. Got the power. Push your mouth. Deposit a fake check. <laughs> See that I, bitch clear now. I don't even know what's going on over here. And I know what he was about to say is not what we want to say until October the 8th, because that's the day that we will be in North Little Rock, Arkansas. You know what? Them girls in North Little Rock, they will suck. Them. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you do it. I mean, do it, but wait till October the 8th to show what whatever it was that we can shut your mouth. <laughs> We'll talk about it. All right. All right. On October the 8th. Make North sure you Little cash Rock. one of them fake checks and give me a thousand out of every check you cash. Don't do that. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, October the 8th, we'll be in North Little Rock. Don't bring no check. Bring cash. From a fake check. <laughs> <laughs>
Where the fuck did all these black people come from in Phoenix? Where y'all been? What's happening? Where y'all been? And I'm not speaking for every man in the, in the If I make it to be making 200 million, nigga, I can make 200,000. I feel like I supposed to fuck any bitch I want. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Let's P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode Show these niggas the trick. Now, they in my house. I done took y'all everywhere else. Now, come on over. All them vines and shit. Mold days and shit. Welcome to the pizza ad. What oh, we got yeah. right here? This granddaddy, man. This come on. Um, this what I got for my 40th. I ain't do nothing to it. Usually, I put 40s on everything I got. Um, I ain't do nothing to this, but put some music in there, you know what I'm saying? Did you do the do on it? Did a booty cat. Did you yes, sir. Woo, you, you was hitting on that joint? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Give my booty eight all that. Yes. God damn, okay. That's living the life. When you, when you on the, hold on, when you stand on a blow up mattress and you can get a girl lick your ass, eat your ass, yeah. you a bad, you cold blooded. Hey. No, but shit, nigga be broken and bitch, man, thinking about it. You ever been so broke, you just feel like you about to pass away sometime soon? <laughs> you be like, I know God ain't got me out here living like this. A Bay Area native, you understand me? You got this, you got to get this monkey off your back, you understand me? <laughs> if you ain't never broke a female off no chicken. <laughs> now, it's nothing that, you know, men should glorify and be proud of, but, you know, it's just culture. But I guess they count everything inside the 285. Shit, the gnome oh, came, came and did their thing. Yeah, the gnome came and did their thing, but I just be want to be real, man. Y'all got cities. If I was from Lafonia, <laughs> you wouldn't rep I Lafonia. would let it. I no, would say I would. wouldn't. Because you know no, why? You I would get so much respect from Lafonia. That ain't enough. Because I'm putting Latonia on the map. Yes, that it ain't is, enough. Bro. Yes, it Sometimes is. Sometimes it was back then. It was a difference when, because now I can be, you could differentiate me, <laughs> and I can also stand out. Now Atlanta fuck with me, but they know I'm from Latonia. I ain't too far, yeah. but I'm real enough to say, bro, I'm from Latonia. Yeah, because there's always going to be niggas bro. like you who going to be like, man, we don't fuck with Latonia, man. That ain't Atlanta. That's that why, the point, that why you put a nigga up on your city. So when you go out of town to go somewhere, I'm from Latonia, huh? Where that from? It's hot skirt. It right there in Atlanta. It riding around the corner. But I'm from Latonia, though. I ain't from Atlanta. Because Atlanta come with a lot of shit. Yeah, what side I, I you from? You. What side you from? What zone what you zone? going? What school you went to? What county you from? I'm so Atlanta, nigga. Atlanta, Florida, County APS, us. Yes, sir, Ski. Yes, sir, Ski. All the way through? All the way through. <laughs> all the way in and out, sir. All the way through. No cuts all on all it. Yeah, no food. outskirts on it, shall had, I say. You had food stamp, you got free lunch, you ain't have food stamp, you were paying. First, first phone number, four, four, sir. Mm hmm. You were differentiated by your area code. in, man, and get the goddamn, yeah. Stop playing with it. Get him, the man. peanut butter and jelly sometime, yeah. Cold. Come on, John. I hear you. Yeah. A little milk, too. I mean, I just can't understand because I live on the outskirts and I still live in Atlanta. Not I go to the top of my driveway <laughs> and walk two steps, guess where I be at? Well, in Atlanta. Back in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I go left, I ain't in Atlanta. Right, right, right. right. But if I, nigga, if I get up the top of my driveway yeah. and do like this, guess Oh, so I'm you want them Ford to counter, nigga, that may be in Alpha Rep. Mm. That's what I'm telling you, it's still You food. from Alpha Rep. I ain't from none of these motherfucking <laughs> places. I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> <where you're at. laughs> you talking I'm about not for. claiming where you from? Let a nigga let, hit me go anywhere and say I ain't from Mississippi. They gonna turn up. Oh, it's gonna be some slow oh, sad yeah. ass oh, dude. That nigga said he ain't from Mississippi no more. <laughs> I'll be sure they let them and let a nigga change you. What that nigga say you was from Alpha Rep. Yeah. <laughs> see, yeah. don't fucking play with me like that. I'm from Mississippi. That's all yeah. the fuck it could ever but be. But see, even though I'm an Atlanta nigga, if I meet somebody else that's from a, a different side of town, or, but that's why I fuck with Joe DeBree, because he'll quit to say that he's from Griffin. 
Okay. He'll let you know, like, yeah, I fuck with a lot of strong cop. Nigga, I got a lot of, but nigga, I'm from Griffin. Don't you get it twisted? And I'm like, I respect that. Now nah, it like it make me wanna go to Griffin. Yeah, it's a real nigga, you, know, you, you hard about that shit, though. I, I'm hard. I, I, was, I was. One time like, a nigga said, yeah, I live in Buckhead. This nigga DC walked off. That ain't no motherfucker in Lambert. Man, that's a nigga. You up there, you tripping. <laughs> yeah, for all, huh? Yeah, you up there, buddy. I respect it, but shit. Downtown well, still confused me to this day. You stupid. stupid. Oh, so West uh, I use a GPS right now. I'm out my jurisdiction. Nigga, you 10 minutes from I the house. Too, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I'm out my jurisdiction. I still use a GPS too, but I'm too West But y'all so cool now. I listen, like remember the street and everything. Listen, like, I'm still you can drop me off up. anywhere on the West Side. I know how to get home. Nigga, it ain't too. big. It's 3 right. No, no, I'm talking about it deep. I'm talking about it deep when you start going. In the next hood. Why they 3S? Why you gonna do that? It, 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 it you know technically that. like by seat. It might seat. It really a lot of ass. It might seat. It really a lot of ass. It really a lot of ass. Our neighborhood is deep. You right. What? Nigga, you yeah, it, it's but it's like six for real, for real. If you want to be typical, you gotta yeah, count all that, that shit on one sixty six, all that shit, all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but once you go on one six sixty six, you technically you'll get an E point. You got fucking if you ain't on Camerton. Yeah, Martin yeah. Luther King. And E point is his own city. If you really want to be for real, everything we just ain't in the country. If we ain't in the country to make it seem like you in the next town over. If we was in the country, a nigga E point, you in the next town over. Boy, you far hell. You, so, you know, you on the west where? side store in there, right? From where? Anywhere from where? on the where west you side. The west end. Yeah. If you coming from down there. I'm talking about on the 285 side. What you say? What you say? What you say? They put three exits on 285 side. But if you do I-20. Nah, you got to go on I-20. So you got to go on I-20 west, my boy. Once you pass Cascade, you on the south. Man, I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. Once you pass Cascade, you got to go to Camberton. And once you get to Camp Creek. I get what he's saying. Camp Creek is Camp Creek south side. But that's 285. Mm. You ain't hit I-20 West. That was it. That, okay, yeah. That's, that's how we got so many T's. That's how we got so many X's. Fulton Street. Like, now, we, when you get down there, down there, when you get to that end, split, bro, I'm going to tell you. Exactly. exactly. That get the that. split. When you go from the 75, 85, like you can go south, or you can yeah, hit that roundabout, like you're about to go to the east side, that's the end. Yeah, OK. On the spreadway. You just said the same thing. On the spreadway, nigga. Then this nigga named the same three exits. No, I didn't. You added in. State 20. 20 was already you, included. You forgot Hamilton Home, Bro, MLK, listen, well, West End, Hamilton MLK, got you got Donald uh, Hollowell. <laughs> then when you pass Donald Hollowell, you get through naming you all those regular ass streets. <laughs> I know you ain't talking Mississippi Road. country. Yeah. No, you didn't say Bolton Road. That's Cobb County. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Bolton Road is on the west side. That's coming up back of Hollywood Road, son. That's on the west side. You keep coming up Bolton Road. Where the fuck you be at? South Cobb Drive. No, no, no. You going the wrong way. You went to the left. Yeah, you went to the left. You still gonna have three. Nah, he went over both. No. He went down South Hall. Yeah, he went down South Hall. Yeah, from, from, from Look at um, Hollywood Road. Look at the because they know. Yeah. Yeah. He went to the left. He went to the left. You probably kept to the right. So Hollywood Road to the left. South Hall. Of course South you'll be on Hollywood, in Hollywood in Road. And if you keep coming down Hollywood Road, you'll Hollywood be right there in the goddamn yeah. snow where all the crime and shit happens at. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But if you keep well, we going all the way down motherfucking Bolton Road, you just out yes, the fuck you will be so on South Cobb Drive, on the other side of the street from and, the motherfucking sex. Like, well, right there by the middle. See, see Cobb that County, the see they like to try to say Cobb County on that part is the west side because it's I-20 West. No, that shit stopped. And now you in Cobb County yeah. and your ass just yeah. Share a motherfucking ice, uh, interstate with us. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Cobb, you can't. So I'm you, saying like, now you know you I'm can't saying, take Bay Hill saying, to Cobb County right, if we, you wrecked it. We, we, we right here. I know we right here. See, you don't want to get technical about this That's shit. That's how I used to get to Bay Hill. We right here in front of Top Golf. On Chatterhoops. We right here in front of Top Golf. We in Midtown. On Chatterhoops. This is a show right here. So Top Golf. Niggas just in the talk. We in Midtown. Like this. Right. All the way back that way. 
towards towards bank head like you the are black, technically the on you are zone. technically on the west side because you still in Atlanta. You still in APA. That Blantown too. You know what I'm saying? That's where my mama was from. Where, where yeah, that was called Blantown. How Mill got down Chattahoochee. That See how Mill? So that was too far for that me. That was out my jurisdiction. Uh, uh, uh. I think the West Side is bigger than uh, you give it a credit for. Uh, Man, you know, the West Side is West Side big, though. you gotta also no, understand. I mean, it, 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 it kinda is, but we would, we it, it go to another right, end, right, though. It do go to North Side Drive. Okay, then I, then I, nigga. Uh, where you, where you talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Where Pitt and them used to be at. Where's that neighborhood? That was my dad from. What is that neighborhood? Lincoln though? Home. Lincoln Home. If you ain't really a West Side nigga who be traveling and yeah. going through hoods and hoods, you ain't even gonna know that it's a hood right there. Yeah. Right. Don't even know it popping. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, y'all were ducked off close to Chattahoochee, and if you bust that little by midtown, but this still on the West Side because it's down Bankhead on the end. See, the best thing about not but being West, from so Atlanta you said, is I didn't live by 85, so over there, all, every all Pride, side. all that shit, like Pittsburgh, over there, like what Carl Every man, ghetto. Kind of if, you be, if, you be, if you be, if you want to be tech. From Cobb County to Riverdale, nigga. Well, I ain't, see, you're going I, one I, I way. I ain't never lived on the east side, though. I ain't never lived on the east side. But see, if you want to technically say, but they ain't even that close together, really. But what you call can be technically on the west side. No, I'm saying I didn't live on the east side. Straight to the south side. A little bit of Pittsburgh. All the way from Kennesaw, dude. A little bit from Kennesaw to Riverdale. A little bit. You still going one way. Because technically, how does one way? That's the whole damn thing. Once you start that 85, 75 south shit. From the very top of 75 to Kennesaw. But you got to go up to Kennesaw. But see what I'm saying? I'm going to go up to Kennesaw. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Tell him that technically, Pittsburgh. Carver home. And all that over there, and John Burns South, yeah, it's literally the South, south side. side. Yeah, that's, that's really the, the South side. side. So when you like, I'm from the South, the new map of the West Side. A piece of Pittsburgh, because yeah. it's over there by the but West End and all that. And the whole What you call that railroad track? It was you so the South serious, side. Though, okay. It was so serious that they kind of segregated. Not segregated, I used the wrong word. They kind of like section themselves off uh, John Burns South, like third of them. Uh, right. John Burns North and John Burns South. They kind of like, we call them the South. Right. Okay. Right. And Tit on old Nat over there, that's yeah. the South Side. Right. South Side. Right. Okay. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, so it was kind of. Just like East Atlanta, East Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it yeah. really but is. But that's technically, though, that's technically, technically the South. Side, though, right. Right. Like, so it was All like, that over there is the South. You know what I'm saying? But they kind of like, they kind of like made their little shit like. But know, Zone man. 3 was like, I right, you just say Zone 3 if you want to particularly be like. Oh, if you from that area, you from Zone Three. That's why he mm -hmm. said the South Side. Yeah. Be like old oh, National and all that, but that shit be getting close to, uh, oh, there like Camp Old Dixie Road and all that shit. Yep. Like, you getting toward Morrow and all shit. All the work with all the cops. Yeah, John Burrow. There, John Burrow pull up out here, man. Y'all tripping? John Burrow <laughs> pull up out here. Every spot on that bitch. One so thing technically, I hate you from John Burrow. <laughs> old National. You feel me? Am it I wrong? Alright. Nigga, if you're talking that shit, me. Okay, fuck John Burrow. You from John Burrow? Old National is. Home of the pettiest crime. <laughs> oh yeah, it don't even be violent crime. You get stabbed with some seals around that motherfucker. Man, just motherfucker like, fighting all that Walmart throwing meat at each other. Yeah, meat by the hamburger. Oh yeah, man. Like, yeah, man, the motherfucker just keep so much bullshit going on. Oh, now you can tell that we're down somewhere, man. You can beat up by a crackhead on old national. Nigga ran in the liquor store, knocked off the liquor. You like, I ain't gonna get no gas here. I ain't gonna get no gas. <laughs> they get wicked over there. They get, man, they get wicked over there. They get wicked so on the like south the side. Grass, Shout out to the south. I got stabbed on the south. Nah, I thought these niggas tripping. I said, we should've stayed on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing over here? We should. I have you doing over there? <laughs> they the fucking That one, I got respect for Clayton County. That's where that shit happened at? Yeah, yeah. No wonder you had to deal with so much shit after work. Yeah, yeah. Man, they didn't, Clayton County won't even let you be a victim of the shit. I, I said, I said, then when I knew the screen shit was fucked up, I said, I get, I gotta go to jail for getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I'm, I'm hurt. I said, listen, if anybody need to go to jail, it's they ain't. I lost. So I hear the rules different. If you lose, that's a crime. He's still gone. <laughs> well, Ford's account got real slap on the hand wrist. 
Shouldn't Fulton have County, niggas be thinking they gangsta because you in Fulton County. Oh, you ain't okay. never tried that shit out of your jurisdiction. <laughs> yes. The laws and are different. County, that's when your ass get the business. You will find it. See, that little you just got. I got the with. business out of in another county. Another. Yeah. Where, I got it. County? I got the business and come on, black boy. Oh, oh come on. We, we used to. We, hey, look. We stayed at there at one point. Thank Me God and this I nigga was it. so good at moving. Once we realized what the fuck was going on. Nigga, you had to get creative with where you hid the weed, nigga, keep you a soda can. That's probably that one shit, that's nigga. probably one city I just do not like driving in. I get so I it ain't I one see, city. It's car, big as fuck. And they all like fuck with you everywhere they ran, they got you out there this Boy. shit. I just hit a U-turn. I go the long way. I said, fuck it. I'm gonna need to get back and forth to county. I'm gonna go, I gotta go around the other way. Car County? No, sir. I don't want to be in y'all system. I don't want to get caught out here. Hey, and I ain't even doing man, shit. Man, I just man. don't. I told y'all I really got locked up and getting beat up. I don't know how y'all play. Mm -mm. I'm straight. Mm. Playco showed me. I done got out there a couple times. They fucked me Hey, up. these motherfuckers, so these, I think Cobb County got the pettiest police, though. You know, oh, yeah. you know like, they on the, the way to the crib, crime. you'll see the police posted up. These motherfuckers do shit like, they'll get behind you. Mm -hmm. Follow you all the way to the crib. <laughs> Just cut the lights And up. pull you over in front of your whole motherfucking house and shit. I got a resident in my house. They wait till you get right in front of your fucking complex. I got a resident in my house, dog. I came back, man. Hey, man. I had to go to work, forgot my work shoes. I was at the stoplight. He was at the stoplight. I went, busted, busted a little U turn in the cul de sac. He did the same shit. Got behind me, got on my street, parked. He got out the car, he was like, get back in the car. And I was like, man, what? I gotta get my work shoes. Get back. That motherfucker came, grabbed me, dog. In your yard. In my yard. I, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, hey, I was out there hollering. I was like, hey, somebody do something. It was like, like five in the afternoon. <laughs> it was the people came out, my neighbor came oh, So that's why you was on the news about that bully shit. No, 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 no. You I was like, y'all gotta no, do no, something no, about these they, motherfuckers. They, they <laughs> This is accumulated, nigga. <laughs> I That's got, crazy. I don't like how many more shots. Yeah, like they that. dirty as hell like, out there. Man. Man. I fuck for the county. They know you be saying yeah. me. They just be like, stay out of our way, motherfucker. I'm like, bet. I don't fuck with Drive no right. Drive right. They be like, hey. Right. All y'all do is drive right. with the blood up. Smoke it down. Uh -huh. I'm like, hey. hey. Say no more, man. Hey. That's the first police <laughs> officer came up to my window and said, Roll your window like up. That's like death. <laughs> Nigga no. told me to roll my window up. Who won't? Nigga had the smoke coming out. No. Day, you know better. Roll your window up. <laughs> I support yeah, the police yeah. when they ain't fucking with me. Police cops don't be want to be dealing with that bullshit. I don't they, give them, you know, lame, like when bro. you see them and they going to do some police shit and they speeding off fast and them got the lights on but they ain't made the sound yet. Right. That's when I be like, go get them dirty motherfuckers. Oh, go get shit. Them. Them I'm niggas really just be breaking I'm the their biggest bro. support. Yeah, I love I when gonna... they got them get behind, like, get I behind. I love when you leave. Then they jump out there and they take them niggas going the opposite way. When I was, I be talking shit. When I was down. When I was running without no license, man, I used to jump behind their ass yeah. when they doing that. Yeah. Can do it. Is it right? You, what they doing, block. I'm going with them. <laughs> you trying to go to jail. They going you on about that bitch. I just going on on. You know, you can't ride behind nobody. I, I mean, you can't tripping. ride you right behind nobody. I'm not right behind them. I'm not like, 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 I'm going, like, and they doing whatever they want. I'm going on through this light, too. I did that shit one time with an ambulance, but the ambulance got on the thing said, get out from behind us. I'm like, ugh. I done did that a lot of times, though. No, I'm just doing what the ambulance is doing. I just whipped so well. If it's traffic, if it's if it's tra tra I'm jumping behind whatever. If it's traffic, wherever. I'm going with the ambulance. You're not going with the ambulance in traffic. You're not going with the ambulance. Yeah. 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 I used to get a rush off that shit. When I see ambulance, I used to get right behind them. Nick got on the, on the intercom and said, like, get off behind us. I just hit that meat. I mean, I feel like you can always, if they try to pull you over, you be like, my wife's in there. <laughs> you got to have your flashes on. You got to have your flashes on. <laughs> They gotta yeah. act like you family. Get behind me. They the definitely, on. they definitely right. caught me like that. No. I got pulled over like that, man. That shit scared the <laughs> shit out of me, bro. Going north, where he talking about that split it, where you go south, where you go on north. Going to the east side. Man, I'm going down the north ramp, man. I'm coming down that motherfucker, man. That motherfucker, motherfucker stopped like literally, like traffic just came to a halt. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm sleepy here. And I'm like, man, let me push it. Let me push it on to where I got to go right quick, right here, right here. Right. Man, damn. Damn, I'm glad I come through that motherfucker. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm sitting here a little minute. 
I went and come through that motherfucker. I get over there with their ass. I got down. I don't know. I went past down there an exit. Right. Man, they they get they get over. I'm looking at them. They get over. I say, shit, I'm finna get over. Man, when I'm thinking about getting over, I pad the police. Mm. Really? They got to get right, get right behind. behind. Man, pull your ass over. I did that emergency lane one time. I said, my hit the emergency lane. Got all the way down that emergency lane. Nigga, police sent right there. I'm like, and you know, traffic. These niggas some assholes. They ain't even letting me get back. They ain't letting me go. I'm like, nigga, you see the police right there. Nigga, let me get him. Look at him. Look at I'm still stuck, police get out the car, walked about car. He like, oh. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get back over, man. Man, I had to swerve back Keep there. Keep coming. I just had to ride up. I don't never really get That's away with right. shit, but one time I got pulled over in the HOV lane. I was by myself. I hate they in your I, car, I'm bro. Getting the fuck out of the traffic. You didn't, you didn't do the trick I told man, you, bro. I'm telling you, when he came to the car, he said, you know you in the HOV lane and you ain't got no passenger. I said, man, I thought this was taking me to the airport. I knew you acting long. Acting long, this fuck. So this ain't the road to the airport. I'm thinking I'm going to the airport. No, no. He bought the shit. He was like, no, you got to get. Now, if you, you, it will take you, but you can't ride this lane. I was like, oh, I thought it was coming up. I didn't know. Hey, that's what a nigga get. Hey. That's hey, what was this, was this a while no, ago? Man, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Hey, this nigga pulled that shit quick. Because that nigga had a Mississippi license. Hey, I don't know. That nigga like, I'm from Mississippi. I don't know. I don't know how these big roads work. I ain't never. I just see that nigga get us out some shit, bro. Like, right. That's a fool. I ain't really know how these big roads work. They be riding that. They buy the hell out of that one. Hey, hey, you know you got 30 days to switch your license on the ground. What? We live here now. Do you live here now? Be careful. Right, right. Get These the cars going Get the bitch by eight. This is high volume track. Don't right. pull hey. out in hey. middle of track. Hey. They try to help you now. This ain't Tupelo. Hey, hey. I'll tell you another thing, too. When you pull, when I pulled you over, don't ever come across four lanes. Don't, don't do that. Don't ever do that. You went through the four lanes? Man, I be good. You know the HOV, you can't cross the double white lane. Man. I be hitting that bitch. Who behind me? Yeah, you know you can't, you can't ride over. You can obey the police too much. If them niggas pull you over, you pull over too goddamn hard. Hey, why the fuck you say pull over, nigga? <laughs> yeah. But when you ride an HOV, you see them light, they is not come past you. I'm going straight over But this is for anybody who in the HOV lane and you by yourself. You All you got to do is pull the seat belt over and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going for that, nigga. And ride. So when people look, all oh, they see is a seatbelt going across the seat. They don't know how big the person is. They, they just see the seatbelt. The seat is they... Wait a minute. You they don't know how big the person down. is. They might be laying back. So when people back. be riding by you, just they might be laying back. Or they could be. <laughs> they could be laying back. They could be a, a, a small. It person. is a smaller person. You know when the police, car, when, they, they, when, they, when they pull you over and they ask you. I gotta let that bitch go. <laughs> when they pull you over and they ask you, you try to fake do you know line. why I pulled you over? <laughs> I helped that bitch too. Oh shit. When they pull you over and they ask you, do you know why I pulled you over? You gotta say some shit that you know they didn't pull you over for. Wait. It was that damn brake light out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's exactly why I pulled you over. Ah, you lying, bitch. The brake light worked. Give me something else. Don't tell you. My yeah. tire got no pressure. What is it? <laughs> uh, tab, tab. You talking about when I switched lanes back there? That dick the dude cut me off. You ain't get. Oh, I'm so no, scared. Sir. I rolled my window down I'm and speak to him as he walking up. What's up, officer? Just letting you know that you ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm having a good day. How about you? Uh, all right, no, all right. I'm I ain't going to move to whatever you need, what hey, you I need. I made up some shit that don't exist one time. He said, you know why I pulled you over? I said, my daytime tag light out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <Fuck. laughs> hey, tell me. No. <laughs> no. I, I, feel, I feel like that's a dumb question. Like, he probably like, you know why I pulled you he over? He probably bro? really didn't know what to say. Because right. like, uh, this check nah. engine light on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why I pulled you over for? Like, I volunteered for you to say, hey, you think you can get behind me? <laughs> Pull me over, I need to ask you something. 
This about my mission. No, I don't know why you pulled me over. Oh, cool. this got something to do with emission, huh? <laughs> You seen where the nigga pulled the nigga over the Tesla and he didn't know that the shit had the screen and he told the nigga, you can't have your iPad up there like that. You oh, need to man. take that down. And the nigga had I feel play. like police they be Hank and they ain't got yeah, that shit. They do. I can have an iPad in my car. Some of them. You no, can't. it's not an iPad. That's I know, that know but Tesla even if is. I wanted to have my iPad on my vent, <laughs> like it is a Tesla. I don't know if you can see that. It's dry. It's I said, got it my way. No, if you're using a Tesla. Maybe if you got DVD. directions. Shit, Ben been having that screen, though. Shit, Ben been having that screen. Remember when them DVDs used to come out and you be watching porn on them shits? Ooh. And you could see it through the car? That was, oh, I remember that back. I got pulled old, over in Alabama that shit be so by an old black dude. He just asked me how much I paid for my Cadillac. No. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What? That was your old, your that, first old You kind of invite that though, because motherfuckers want to see the car, and police will do that with the, when when you got a nice old school. Yeah, like, hey, they'll fuck around it. Man, I done been with a damn driver on the road. Like, I'm talking about on the road to a show probably like three hours away. Right. Bro, this nigga pulled over a, a 18 wheeler, bro. He pulled over, he's just not a cop. It's not an officer of the law at all. No, nowhere. Pull the motor. Man, man, turn his lights on. Hey, pull up, hey! Man, I'm in the back, sleep. Like, we going to a show. We on the way back from the show, man. Right. Your driver pulls the motor? Yes, bro, he pulled. What? I remember that. And get out the car and actually check the nigga man, light. Man, what? <laughs> after the white truck, this was a white 18 wheeler, bro. Like, after that motherfucker stopped, bro. He pulled up on the side of the road by that motherfucker and get out. Put it good, I don't run up there. I don't know if you should I'm tell like, the rest of that story. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. didn't say no names. I think we good. Yeah, yeah we ain't say no names. That you seen you? We ain't say no names. That was in the movie. And sometimes we elaborate right. right on the 85 South Show. Sometimes these views never actually happen. Yeah. No way that was on Boys in the Hood. Person is real or fictitious. Hell yeah, that's when I jumped out the motherfucker and then I was like, pop the magic dragon, bitch. And then we were <laughs> all on, man. He pulled Buddy over. No, why you bring it back up? Cause I, nah. what the fuck we it's did a real security guard and then your ass bring it with back up. With a motherfucking light in his car that he but got he, off of Facebook he, he, he really a driver, but he, you know how like, some drivers come with both their security and the driver too. Right. That's all though. He ain't so no he was a driver with the yeah. Facebook so marketplace. No he had the lights. All he had was the lights and and <laughs> was in a black on black. Listen, you can pull anybody over with any lights that you can get off Facebook Marketplace. I'm trying to tell you. DMX did that back in the day. Who the real kid? It don't matter, man. These mother, it's new technology. All they need you to do is make sure. Any car that look like a crown man. He ain't doing nothing. He just told the man he need to drive right. With some Facebook Marketplace. That's what I'm saying. He literally did all that to just tell the man, bro, you. But the boy got road rage. You fired him in your mind, right? Right then, you fired him in your mind. Jay fired his ass. Jay told us that I'm going to drive. From now on. You ever seen Road Wars? You was on one of them. You just ain't knew it yet. <laughs> pull your motherfucking ass. That's all. I'm talking about literally. That's how he was telling him to pull over, too. And that's all he said to him, bro. He just went up. He ain't pulled over. Got right, out. Now right. that shit. He just said, hey, man, <laughs> you all over the fucking place. I can hear him out of, out of the window, bro. Like, you all over the fucking place, bro. Did, just keep that What kind of lights over. he had? Did they sign like they were sung? Because I had a nigga who had some lights. He had a sign? I told that bitch, cut them shits off. Oh, that shit was sassy. No, you must don't know the law. You can't have a light. That nigga was like, I had a siren and the and blue, that white, shit. and red lights. <laughs> Bruh, I got to stop y'all from telling this goddamn story. <laughs> what is it? That was what I was on. Well, I'm about to move it out the way. <laughs> he was like, boop, <laughs> boop. <laughs> this man told me he had the siren go, boop, <laughs> 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 what you say to Uber? Ma, it was like a nigga like security nigga, but he like, oh. you know I got lights if you want. No, okay. I said, man, <laughs> hit the light. He was like, man, they, you nigga gonna move. They nigga hit that bit, that bitch. Like, uh, <laughs> 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 ain't nobody gonna move out for that shit. That's illegal, dog. They can't just be doing that shit, bro. <laughs> hey, you want some lights? Yeah, I swear. Uh, hit the light. That nigga hit it. That nigga hit it. Sound like Pac-Man, Dad. Man, ain't nobody moving out of our way. Sound like Jeffrey Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, what's next, man? Oh, uh, actually, about to drop, man. Sleeping Giant. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. That's what you. Some of what you played earlier. Yep. 
Ooh. Uh, that's my next compilation of work. Uh, I'm serious. Sleeping Giant, it's kind of like a... Uh, brought two different worlds together in mm -hmm. my eyes. Uh, okay. Buddha, Bless the Beat, and uh, this uh, producer, been in the game for a while, his name Troy Taylor. And he, you know, he made me challenge myself. You know, mm -hmm. I'm really too tough tape. I'm hearing it. Kind of people just talking to me, uh, telling me what to do in the studio. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I had to break out of that. Like you're like a heavy as an artist. Yeah, but he, he, like made me like he challenged me and he telling me like I'm talking about to the point where, all the way down to the, no, I don't, no, that doesn't sound like schooling. Fifty times. I don't sound like school with one of these 50 times. God damn. Right, right. I'm do it 52 times. Right. Try it two more times. Because you're going to get it. Right. Uh-uh, you giving me, huh? No, you ain't giving me, you ain't giving me school. Like, like, he, like that, so I had never. Been challenged. Yeah, so like, and the, the songs that I did with them, they, like, they sound amazing. I sound different. I don't even sound like myself. You right. see what I'm saying? Um, and I ain't talking about on no, Using no special effects like a motherfucker, none of that. Right. Like just a whole different bag. Like yes, like it's I you, went. It's you like, with a different I, approach. I, I took them all like I used to die from right. him. Like I I, he making me stretch this motherfucker. I'm using it like like I never used this motherfucker. Even when you was just you know coming in here, you were saying that all of that shit. I was like, man, that, you know, I got, that I got shit to like double check. Bro. So it's like it's like Buddha blessed to be. Um, you know, he more, he, he make everything, but he more like, you know, hip hop side, like X. type. And Troy's, Troy's songs, uh, like they're more R&B, mm -hmm. like in my real R&B bag. Mm -hmm. So I just put them, we kind of put them together. And it, it's like, the title was kind of like, speak for itself, kind of, mm -hmm. I feel that way about myself, um, I ain't been dropping like I supposed to. Right. I got a history of pausing in between when I drop, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, felt like I am who I am. So I, they can't take that from me, so I'm, I just been asleep, I just been chilling, yeah. sleeping giant, you know that, but it's time to wake up, you mm -hmm. feel me? So, independent, take it over the independent line. Drop this shit. <clears throat> so, that's the next, my next thing, and I'm, I'm trying to come back to back, like, after that, like, more consistency, like, I'm trying to come back to back, SB as well, after that, you know, probably West Side Legend after that. You know what Well, you know, we need you on one more thing, though. We need you to do one more thing. What do you gotta do? We need them on 85. Bro. Gotta have them on 85. I'm yeah. coming back. You got to hit, you got to do that 08 Wayne. Well, bro, we bullshit. just did, we just wrapped up season three, but we gotta get <coughs> We gonna have a, another. We gotta add another day. Yes, sir. Oh wait, we ain't going. I appreciate oh, wait, that. He, he probably you gotta do like at least two. Oh, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <coughs> yes, sir. Please what? be the first yeah, be, repeat. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Please bring me, bring me back. Please. Oh, we'll, we'll do. Might just. Might. Oh, we'll do. But the shit go crazy because you can just do the new. I was in love with that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That, that shit was that, jamming. That shit, I ain't gonna hold you. Then I'm damn near like. I'm down there like, <clears throat> <laughs> bro, that shit down there like, <laughs> the band and shit went with the clothes a nigga had on. You ain't, never, like, you ain't never did no band when you did live performance? Yeah, I had, I had, I think, I had, didn't we do ours before we went and did that? Yeah, I had did my album, uh, my whole album. Shit like bring that, a whole nother feel like, though. Right before I came to y'all though, like, it was still fresh. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, you was the next, you was the probably, the only thing that wasn't, after that. I, wasn't my shit right. that was that I had went to and did it. Yeah, but well, we damn sure appreciate that. But we that need shit bring a whole nother field on. <clears throat> yes, sir. Season yes, sir. three and a half. That challenged me too. Like oh, season I, three when and I did my whole album, mm -hmm. that right. challenged me. Like we just dropped season three. Live, like, mm -hmm. Don't tell me the seasons is seasonal. It's seasonal oh, season. Fine. So if we get Schooler to come and then we add our others. We gonna make it season three and a half. We'll drop the whole regular season three and then it's like, it's a, like a bonus. A it's bonus like a bonus episode. Half season. That's like extra season. Extra season. You know how when they be like, you want some sauce on the side too? 
Mm-hmm. I want some extra season. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You own or something? Chicken wing bussin'. For you sure. Yeah, man. You was one from season. Hans? Extra season, the motherfucker. Uh, you hear me? What's your social media, oh, Scooter, so they can holler at you in <clears> the <throat> next episode, man? Uh, pretty much on all social platforms. Um, SB underscore school. S-K-O-O-L-Y, man. Um, What's going on? Yeah. Uh, Twitch. Free you streaming kill. now? Free kill SB, yeah, man. Are uh, you twitching? We kind of got our own. Is she uh, fine? We kind of got our own little world, our own little RP. Is world. she fine? Hey, yeah. we're going to get with you because we know we about to jump off of 85 South mm-hmm. Gaming Team. That's going to be hard. We'll be on the GTA, man. We'll yeah, be we, need, real. we need our own. Y'all be playing baseball? Y'all be on doing nothing this shit? What y'all be on, I, man? I, I, I play baseball. You know, that's the only sport I ever play in that real life. What position you play? on game. Centerfield. Oh, so you got to run. Play right field, buddy. I can catch like a motherfucker. I can run. I'll run in this shit. Oh, yeah. Bridge on me. I gun your ass out, though. You think you're going to run on me? All right. All right, go. I want you to go on third base, though. You well, DC, we, we ain't going to be able to do a yeah, baseball if you want to do like well, celebrity. Well, you get that one, I can go get it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be in right field. I want Y'all you to be on third base. Go home. Game. Cook out. I bet you don't get there before the Hold ball. Hold on, man. Dude. Get back to this GTA shit. What y'all on, man? <laughs> I just no, got I'm still five. figuing it oh, out. Shout out to I the Shot Lotto RP, man. Oh, Y'all go get oh, with it, man. Y'all We're going to get online and link up and really get on this shit. Because we sure. already got it set up out here in the lobby where we oh, can stream shit on all the TVs and shit. I'm going to start playing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back on my game shit. I said I was going to game here. I told myself I was going to game here. I got two K. Who want to do some more 2K NBA, nigga? Man, what you want to do, nigga? DC, you got something dropping soon? Oh, hell yeah, I got some you movie mean, dropping TV, too. TV, movie, whatever. What's, what's uh, up next? Got some, got some movie dropping, uh, I'm gonna say, always in uh, another criminal movie with Eddie Murphy in the uh, end of the year. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Okay. God is the greatest. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, you you know what the podcast, you know what it is. Go check it out everywhere you can listen to podcasts. Um, yeah, man, got a couple pilots in the works and uh, a few other things. I think I'm about to get back to work on set, uh, you know, on some writing stuff. So, yes, sir. Yeah. Stay crazy. busy, man. Most definitely. Stay busy. Most definitely. That's I've been working on some, uh, some new things also. Did some voiceovers for the new season of Rescue 911. For real? No, uh-huh. no but it'd be hard if they brought it back. <laughs> 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 nah, it man, I got, so some, much, man. I got some shit coming, bro. We working over here. Big <laughs> shit out, popping. Big, <laughs> tools popping. Big TV shows popping. Uh, and I might, you know, win nigga of the year this year. They did hit me, and I'm up for nigga of the year. Oh, man. Yeah, really? So my name is in the hat. For sure? Yeah, so I, I might be just that. win yeah, nigga of the year. From what awards? The Nigga Awards. Oh, good. <laughs> Association. Sponsored in part by the NAACP and everything black. Facts. You feel but me? But we Facts. got the money for some white folks to do the award show. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, like, I like that. I like that. Yeah, because, I like you know, that. like, they down for the culture and they want to see us have the finer things in life. And plus, I kind of wait till they got drunk and I guilt trip them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We take reparations in many forms. Right. Okay. <laughs> He said, I wait till they got drunk and like, guilt trip. Yeah, I tried to kind of made him feel Sorry. bad. Made him feel bad, man. Here. Hey, give me man, some of that money, man. Before the year that came up. Man. Yeah, give me some of that money, yeah, man. Yeah, come on. Give me some of that See, money. that's the angle that you have to take. You can't make them feel bad about what their granddaddy and them did. It's got to be more personal. He's talking about what their granddaddy did. <laughs> He's talking about it got to be more personal. About what their daddy did. That yeah. generation ain't too far. Yeah, so, you know. You got you to gotta hit them somewhere that's unexpected. But the one thing that I did learn from the white people, though, is that when you get their money, you're supposed to buy you some shit that can make you some money. Facts. Don't for just sure. get the money and spend it. You got to buy shit that'll make you money. And the money that your shit make, that's your money. Facts. And then you use their money to slowly pay them back right. while you stacking your money. Facts. And you put your money up, and then you keep letting your you know, your income stack on top of the money that you borrowed from them, and then you took it, and then you bought some shit that made you some money. Because it's and borrowed. And then you take that little money, and then you do it again, and then you next thing you know, you pay everybody just back. Just keep the money circulating. Yeah. Like money. But that's a whole nother episode. They gave it on the cycle. And when that's you got time for they all, all that shit. They got to know. They find that shit. I dropped right a little piece of... You just gave it on the game You know, they game got to know. in between the bullshit that I be saying, but I got to cover it up so they don't know that I'm spitting game on here. So watch this. Titties. <laughs> <laughs> <Great pussies. laughs>
so they can say that's all I'm talking about. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller, and guess what I'm doing October the 13th? Let me check my schedule. Oh, I'll be in Macon, Georgia at the Macon City Auditorium. That's right. I have my own tour at the end of the day, and it's going down October 13th, 8 o'clock, Macon, Georgia, Macon City Auditorium. Carlos Miller. Ooh, wait. Grab those tickets, because you know it's going down in the Mac Town. I see you up there. Mm -hmm. But on another note, <laughs> Schooly, you know where the fuck we at. I Come can't on, say this your first time. Bro. Come on, game, yeah, man. You Pop on, up. They fuck with the 85 you. South Show every so often. But you know, Appreciate this is the first time we didn't sit down there and really chop it up. Yes, and don't sir. let it be the last. Definitely we definitely not. gonna fuck with you on three and a half. Yes, sir. 85 mm -hmm. South Show. Let's go. Schooly. DC Young Black. Clayton English. Yeah, yeah.